All right, what I got today is a uh, Harman Kardon um, ABR 510, and uh, it was given to me. I was told it was uh, in okay condition. Had a few problems with some of the LEDs on the front here, but um, it actually seemed to be uh, somewhat working now. They're kind of int intermittent, uh, but the most thing I when I hooked it up, I found that uh, it had a very slight hum on it. If you can hear it. 60 cycle hum so um, that's got to be a bad power supply caps or something somewhere so I was just uh, browsing around and uh, hold on let me get my uh, flashlight here I'm looking down in here in the power supply filtering section and uh, that cap right there is not looking too healthy uh, that one right there so I'm going to check all these caps and check those two main filter caps up there and uh, see what I get for an ESR on those and then uh, replace them and then see what happens. Yeah, two of some of the uh, more AC filtering over here. Got a bridge rectifier there, uh, a couple of filter caps. So uh, those don't look too bad, but I'm going to ESR all these power caps. And uh, well, I already know that one's going to be junk, but uh, I want to check the rest. Uh, I put this on and I uh, was going to run it in the shack for a while here and just have some tunes in the shack, but uh, the, that 60 cycle hum was bugging the hell out of me, so I, I just pulled it down. The probably thing weighs about, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds. This thing's heavy as, a, heavy as anything, and this transform is huge. But uh, Alright, so I'm going to flip this over, and I think there's an access panel on the back, on the bottom. I can take off and actually get the connections on the back of this board. Some of them don't have that option. You gotta pull the whole board out. That makes it real fun. But uh, I think they did it right on this one. So, alright. Alright, so uh, we got that puffy cap here. Got the puff on the top. And uh, as I showed you in the previous video on ham radio repair, um, this is what a bad reading will look like. Uh, so you got 16 volts. 6800 uh, microfarad there. Um, so uh, come over right here and check the, the reading and you get a 2.0 um, according to this chart here. I think uh, anything greater than um, 500 microfarad is around a 0.1. So uh, yeah, 2.0 that's, uh, that's dead. That's done. So I'm gonna check all the the other caps in circuit and uh, see what it, see what they look like, all the other filter caps, and then uh, I'll go run the uh, scrounge around the basement and see what I can come up with for a replacement. I know I could probably got a ton of these. I may even have a few uh, kicking around in a bin box somewhere. So all right, we'll uh, we'll change that, and I'm gonna check the rest of them. All right, so we're going to check the ESR on the other caps that are in the uh, filter section here of this. Uh, the rectifier is right here, these uh, diodes, four-wave uh, four bridge. Um, I've already made up this, uh, it's just basically a resistor uh, with a couple clips on it. I've already discharged the capacitors because if uh, those caps have a charge on number one, you can uh, potentially get really hurt, uh, electrocuted um, with direct current. Uh, in the 100 volt range, somewhere in that 200 volt. Um, and you can also blow up your uh, test equipment. So uh, you always want to make sure those are discharged. I do not recommend putting a screwdriver or anything across them because uh, you'll create a, uh, a pretty good uh, um, spark. And uh, so uh, we're going to test these other ones here. Uh, let's see. We got a. Point four. That's pretty good in that range. Remember we said anything you know point one is good. So uh, we'll go over here to the other cap. That's good. And we're gonna put in the other one here, and that one's good too. So that one cap is the only bad one. So I'm gonna change that one cap and uh, see if that uh, AC hum goes away on the uh, on the speakers. 
Okay, I've got that uh, capacitor replaced, and let's get it on, and listen. No more 60 cycle hum. No matter how high you turn up the volume. No more hum, so that's all it is. It's as easy as it gets. Sometimes that's all it takes. And I uh, still don't know. Uh... Yeah, see, there's a couple of bad connections in here, I think. I don't know if I'm going to go after those. I really don't care, but eh, maybe. So that's how you can fix your 60-cycle uh, hum noise on your speakers uh, on a receiver. Check for bad uh, filtering caps. All right, uh, we got the uh, receiver back in its own place up here. Um, everything's all fixed. Uh, I got this. Um, I'm not too worried about those lights. Uh, you know, they they do have a little bit of some issues with them, but yeah, maybe project for another day. I may take the whole display apart and resolder them, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Uh, I was more concerned about the audio. It's driving me bananas. Uh, I was in the shack here with the volume all the way down. I'd hear that 60 cycle hum going crazy. Uh, it doesn't help I have a fluorescent light on the back side here. Uh, the filtering was horrible. Uh, so I knew I knew there was some bad caps in here. So um, got that all set up. No more 60 cycle hum. I got the volume cranked all the way up. All you hear is a little small hiss, which is what you want. You don't want any buzzing. That means there's a problem. So uh, basically, I, like I said, I have it set up in three channel stereo. So I got right, left, and center. Not the best quality speakers, but hey, they were free, just like the receiver. So um, yeah, let's give it a uh, uh, test here. I'm going to uh, just do a THX, see how it sounds. it works so uh, that's it that concludes this repair